Okay, so. Let me fix the viewfinder. So the Hidden Woodsman belt pouch, which I am actually wearing one right now. I wear one every day because I keep my uh, some of my EDC items in there. But I just threw this in there just a moment ago. But this is the new orange blaze signal panel. But you gave this to me, so thank you, Malcolm. And it's a big piece of orange reflective panel that you could hang on a tree, hang from your pack. I mean, what'd I do with it? If you had some uh, electrical tape, or I actually do have a roll of duct tape, but I brought it as an example. I picked this up at a dollar store for a, like a buck or two for a dollar. You could do three X's across or put help with three X's on here. Greetings one and all. How's everyone doing? I hope well. So I'd throw a quick little video. If I can have some clips before it starts of uh, the Hidden Woodsman signal panel. Which I don't think is on his website yet because I believe it's a new edition for 2016. It's currently uh, December 15th, 2015. And I believe his uh, site as of today is closed for so he can get caught up on um, orders because you know his products are great and um, yeah he's just trying to catch up with, for his customers so thought I'd uh, come out show the, do a quick video I just did a video on um, some signaling examples that you could I could use or someone could use so I thought I'd go ahead and just you know two birds with one stone crack out a little practice. I just threw up a, a pretty shoddy looking tarp shelter, but you know, I would definitely tuck the back more in, but it's more about the panel than it is about the, um, the tarp. So this is a Kelty reflective um, cordage, which I just hung it up there. So hopefully it could be visible from a distance and hopefully the reflectiveness of the tarp would also show. Plus I'd have a fire probably right here where my foot is so I'd have a fire here I could lay right here underneath the tarp which is something I've never done before and then if I was in a bed you know if I was in a situation where I needed uh, help and then I could have the panel out here to uh, hopefully add to my already bright shiny tarp so the two things combined the brightness of the orange, the silver with the fire in front of it. I wish I could make a fire, but I'm in a state park, and it's a, it's illegal to make fire in state parks in the state of Washington. So, you know, it is what it is. I mean, you've seen plenty of fire videos from me before. It's it's been raining and it's super wet, but I mean, there is dry firewood I could get. I see some standing deads, I would just hack them all down, get a fire going, and then, you know, just spend the whole evening just doing nothing but collect firewood, so, anyway, so I just wanted to show this. I just got it in mail the other day, so I really haven't had a whole lot of use for it, or haven't used it a whole lot, but so far, I really like it. You know, I like the way it just stands out. Good stuff. I've seen a couple of the videos that were really well done. Really like them. He also threw in this uh, little blue blaze patch with camo on the back. So, you know, hopefully, increase your odds. 
adding a little bit more contrast. Hope it won't slip off. This reflective cord is nice, but it doesn't hold a knot very well. I think I will definitely go with paracord next time. But I just happen to have it in my pocket, so I just went ahead and dug it out. There we go. Yeah, I just realized I forgot to buy them, but I was thinking too, um, I saw in one of Malcolm's uh, hiking videos that he came across the camp and it looks like they sort of had a party. And they had balloons hanging up. I thought, you know, that's actually not a bad idea because you don't need helium for them. You could just air them up by mouth, you know, or the white, the yellow, the red, and just, you know, dot your, dot your line. Two, three on each side. Maybe one or two on the other side. And just cover your camp and, hey, here I am. Come freaking help me. Bring me bacon. I need, need saving. <laughs> so... I actually totally forgot to buy them. I thought that was an interesting idea, but I do actually have some um, orange ribbon as well. I, I showed this in my uh, example of signaling, but well, seriously, yeah, I'm just all thumbs today. Not very, uh, 18 feet of this, like a buck 50. You could, you could do something like, uh, add it to the bottom. Further add to your, that's what show up on camera. Yeah, it actually doesn't show up very well with the background and the foliage. I mean, it's there for sure, but... <clears throat> Cut off another piece. Not exactly stealth camping, but you know, whatever helps, right? <coughs> that kind of stands out. But you know, mul multiple colors you know, would probably be a good thing. Even if you didn't want to go with balloons, you could go with blue, or we could go with uh, yellow. You can go with <coughs> if you were thinking, if you had some of these pre made, you could probably run a strip of reflective tape, just stick it on there. It might hold. I don't know if it would hold, but. You know, you could potentially hold. So, just something you could do. I mean, that with the fire, I think I'd do okay. Unfortunately, it's state park, like I said, so fire would land me in trouble, seriously. So, <clears throat> so I throw it out there. Hidden Woodsman reflective panel. I like it. I think it's like. Well, you have to check the website for availability and also pricing. I don't think they're listed yet, but when they are, you can check. I'll put the uh, website down below for you. You go check them out. Bookmark it because I don't think he's taking orders right now as of December. But <clears throat> you know, bookmark it. Check back later. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, have a good one.